what's up guys welcome back to my channel clean industries pressure washing wanted to do a quick video today just something that i came up with uh might help some of you out i should have done this a long time ago so let me flip this around and i'll show you got my big ugly green rig right here i got one hose reel right there that feeds water to my buffer tank and i have another one right there okay that one's got 400 feet of hose on it i mostly use that for commercial where there's you know 2,000 feet of building and only like one or two water spouts on the whole thing which is ridiculous but it is what it is so i'll probably eventually do this same thing that i'm about to show you to that reel as well but something that i kind of came up with this is just a basic cheap hose reel i've really i kind of been wanting to replace this thing for years but it just won't freaking break it's like i don't it doesn't even make sense but anyway so water comes out of the spout goes through all that hose i think i've got like 150 175 feet on here I'm going to be switching this to Flexzilla hose because this cheaper hose in the summer months is pretty flexible, but in the winter months, it gets real stiff and you get little, I wouldn't say kinks, but that's definitely restricting flow. Anyway, water goes through the hose, comes out through here, goes into there, into that filter. So basically, if I needed to rinse my hands off you know if you're doing stuff around mulch like that you, you get mud and mulch just all over you uh if you want to rinse your boots your hands off you want to rinse something off your rig <coughs> excuse me uh I, I needed a way to do that without unplugging the hose and all that stuff so this is what i came up with so again the water's flowing through this way you can see it going through the filter I used to just have this hose plumbed directly to that filter. Well, what I did was I put a splitter in and I got one of these shrinking and expanding garden hoses. This one, it was about the shortest one I could find. I wanna say it's like eight feet, something like that, maybe eight or nine feet, okay, when, it's, when there's no pressure on it. This thing was, I want to say, somewhere between $20 and $25 with tax. Pretty sure I got it on Amazon. But it's actually 25 feet long when it expands. So if I need to mix up some chemicals, rinse my trailer off, uh, I got some chem or SH on my face, I can spray it and, you know, endless possibilities. Use your imagination. So what I do, if I want to use this hose... I just turn this off, open that up, so all the pressure goes through here. See, it expands. Hopefully I can get all that. It expands to 25 feet, and I've got a hose. I can rinse my trailer off, rinse my reels. Got actually got some mud on that reel from the last job I did. It drives me nuts when I pull up to a a fresh job and I've got mud all over my hoses from the last job but you get the idea so I can't remember if I mentioned this but it did even come with this uh, garden hose uh, nozzle so that saves you know five ten bucks right there and basically when I'm done with it turn it off turn that water back on go to my buffer tank and let me show you here. See how it stays expanded like that? It's 25 feet, man. I can even rinse my van off or any of that. But you let the pressure out of it and it'll shrink back up to eight or nine feet. And yes, I'm still one of those guys that uses an IBC tote because it was free and I'm cheap. So I take it, hook it right back on there, take this, tuck it down in there, and it's done. So I thought that was a pretty 
cheap, convenient way, easy way to uh, get some water hose action when I need it. So anyway, again, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, go ahead and click like and subscribe if you'd be so kind. And we will catch y'all on the next one. I hope this video helps some of y'all out.